Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I am Aisyah Fatimah binti Mahir Abdujani and she is Izzah Nabiti Ismail. So we are from group D research in quantitative science too. Are going to present our mathematical modeling research which is, which is regarding good lifestyle habits among SQS students. Okay, uh, we move to our presentation. We will go through into introduction, methodology and also data analysis. Okay, so background of the study. Transitioning from high school to college and the years following can be extremely stressful for young adults. For many, this is the first time they have heard certain responsibility and freedoms. Second year students have to deal with changing familiar and society roles which involve greater independence. They also have faced more difficulty courses that demand a greater amount of dedication and time management skills. Many research studies have found that this transition adjustment to college rafter is considered a chronic stressor throughout the student's collegiate career. This is cited from James in 2010. Next is a problem statement. A student has to master their time management skill. The student are assigned to allocate their time efficiently for several regular tasks. The student is required to divide their time to specific tasks, including their lecture se session, so that the time management skill will add value to the student life if they do allocate their time properly. The time allocation of the element influence a good lifestyle habit are the sleeping time, exercises, food intake, study, personal time and also personal care. Sleep and eat are included in this model because they are one of the essential criteria need in order to maintain a good lifestyle habit. Okay, next is the case study description. So, second year students in School of Quantitative Science, SQS at UEM are facing difficulties in allocating their time so this problem might affect their lifestyle as being a university student. If they do efficiently split their precious time in terms of their regular tasks including the lecture ses session, this may add several benefits or value added to them in order to have a good quality lifestyle. In this research paper, several assumptions have to be made to get an optimum solution and come up with alternative that will be recommended to the students. Few variables have been listed out to become the decision variable for this, for this study. Next is our research question. For the first one is what are the average time taken of student in each task? The second one, how to develop an integer programming model in order to optimize the time allocation for a student. The third one is what are suggestions or alternatives that can be assured to students to maximize the quality of lifestyle habit. Next is our research objective. Uh, the first one is to determine the average time taken of student in each task. The second one is to develop an integer programming model in order to optimize the time allocation for a student. And the last one to suggest or provide alternative that can be assured to students to maximize the quality of lifestyle habit. Okay, next is the scope. So the scope of this research, the, this research are the SKS student here in UCT Utara Malaysia, which is the second year undergraduate students, decision science students. And then a good lifestyle habits can be determined by several variables which is sleeping pattern, exercise or sport activities, food intake which is in terms of minutes, time taken, uh, study, personal time and personal care. Next is uh, significance, an area that may be valuable to pursue, pursue for further research will be the importance of good lifestyle habit in a student life. The use of this habit are becoming more widespread and normalized and more information about this type and frequencies consumed has yet to be collected from this population. Further research should be done in this population to determine the prevalence of over-exercising syndrome and the exercise attitude that correspond. Although this study briefly touched on exercise attitudes, it did not address how this attitude correlates to types and amount of exercise of fitness levels. Suggest a suitable alternative time management skill to the SQS student in UUM. So next is the limitation. So first of all, the sample may not be a true represent representation of the population. This research is open to all students at university. However, it's prerequisite for students in SQS. So only one semester of the SQS student data was used in this study, which is the second semester students. It need to be not is need to be noted. So question A was also self-reported, which could have impacted the accuracy of the data if the subjects were not fully honest in their answers. The next is a research design. 
Our population is student of second year SQS undergraduate program and our sample is 30 student of second year SQS undergraduate program. Sampling techni technique that we use is convenient sampling. The method of data collection survey through online questionnaire using Google Form and the method of data analysis that we use is integer programming uh, by using Access Solver. Next is the model description. So first one is the decision variable. So we let X1 to represent the sleeping pattern of students during the daytime, X2 during the nighttime. So X3 until X7, X3 until X12 we allocate for the exercises. So these are diff so different exercises will be uh, allocating different types of sport activities. So X13 until X6 until X uh, until X17 we will allocate for the food consumption time taken according to their meals in a day which is breakfast lunch tea time dinner and supper so x18 until x21 we allocate for the study purpose which is the study in, in order to evaluate their study pattern which include class tutorials group discussion and self study so x22 until x26 we will allocate it for personal personal time which is consists of watching movies, social networking, part-time part job, hangouts and relaxing. So the next one is X27 until X30. We allocate it for uh, activities that can be done according to their personal care which is take a bath, take, taking bath, laundry, prayers and grooming. Okay, next our objective function. To maximize time of a uh, student in day in terms of activities done, Okay, our max z is uh, x1 plus x2 until uh, plus x3, x30, sorry. Okay, in this study, we discuss the activities of student within a day in order to have a good lifestyle habit. Students have 24 hours in a day and they should attend classes and the axis of the, the allocated time is very limited. So, they need to make an activity where it can give them a good quality of lifestyle. With a limited time, not all activity can be done by a student within a day. The next is the constraint. So, in order to formulate constraint as a function of decision variable, we see the resources available in short supply and what needs to be fulfilled. So, the first constraint consists of us. Uh, the first constraint uh, which evaluate our uh, sleeping pattern. So, uh, students or teenagers must need eight hours of sleep to be productive. This is because teenagers will, will be in general have irregular sleep patterns as they commonly remain up late and rest in late on the weekends. So which can influence and they are, and affect their biological clocks and hurt the quality of their sleep. So next one is the constraint for sport activities. So according to the 2008 physical activity guidelines, teenagers must exercise at least one exercise for 20 minutes and should not exceed 60 minutes in a day. As a general goal, at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activities every day is sufficient. If doing more, it will lose weight, maintaining weight loss or meet certain fitness goal. Constraint is about the food intake, which is the food consumption in terms of minutes. So models from psychologists suggest that such eating patterns may matter for how much people eat. The total time spent eating or drinking both as primary and secondary activities is, is closer to two hours. So the limitation we uh, we suggest it to two hours. So the fourth one is the uh, study pattern in terms of to evaluate their study pattern. So the measure of a time. The measure of time a student ought to spend considering realize, realize upon what number of classes you they are in selected in, self-learning prosperities and tutorials. So most school courses are three to four credit hours. So this implies for each class that you ought to spend around six to eight hours examining. So this one also includes uh, for tutorials, self-study and also group discussion. So uh, the fifth one is for personal time which is leisure also we classify as leisure so teenagers is a good uh, if student spend their time not more than five hours which is approximately 300 minutes in personal time because they have a lot of activities to do in a day so they generally they generally consider leisure activities as meaningful happiness knowledge and culture enhancing and as an educational processes that is beneficial to individuals the last constraint is about the personal care. So personal care only involves a few things like take a bath, laundry, prayers and grooming and all this should be at least at least 15 minutes take time taken for a student for each activities. 
So next is uh, our model formulation. Okay, for the first uh, constraint is a sleeping pattern. The second is a sport activities. The third one is food consumption. Uh, the fourth one is study pattern. The next is a personal care and the last one is personal care. So this one all we regarding, uh, uh, so this one involve about the time taken by the student to do those activities in, in different, uh, in the separate aspects. Okay, next is a result presentation. The average time allocation in accordance to their preference input from by the questionnaire will be also discussed in this session. To formulate constraint as a function or decision variable, we substitute the average time taken available gathered from questionnaire into the constraint developed previously. Then we insert the constraint into SS solver to develop as well as solve the integer programming model. Okay, this is our uh, constraint and we we take uh, so we substitute the average time taken, which is we collect from the data data uh, we get through question air. So we just take the average time spent of the students, and then we substitute the coefficient into the uh, into their respective x one uh, in respective axis. So such as for constraint one, uh, uh, the average time taken for day nap for a uh, second year student decision size is 143 minutes and sleep uh, day, for during the night time is 398 minutes. So this one should be limited, must not be more than 580 minutes. So this one would be our constraint, for example. So we proceed the same one to for the remaining constraints. Okay, next is the result and discuss discussion. Uh, so the first uh, the first figure shows the interface of access server that we have done in order to calculate our uh, alternative that we suggested by the access server. So from the access server, we get uh, the result that saying as below. So the night time sleeping about as approximately 380 minutes, which is six hours above in a day. So jogging about 24 minutes a day, which is a spot that recommended by the access server. And then the time spent during breakfast is 70 minutes, time spent during lunch 20 minutes, time spent during dinner is 23 minutes. So in this uh, Excel server, they, they, only, they suggest students to take breakfast, lunch and dinner instead of the five meals, five meals in a day in order to like maximize their time in a day. So next one is the time allocated for classes period which is 276, approximately 5 hours a day. So, uh, so they can uh, students can allocate their time in uh for their lecture lecture session in five hours in a day. So time allocated for tutorials is a uh, hundred and eighty seven minutes, approximately three hours, and time allocated for self study is uh, about one hundred and twelve minutes, approximately two hours in a day. So personal time for social networking is three hours a day, which they suggest um most common activities uh, personal time that student uh, uh prefer to prefer as their leisure activities is social networking and then going to the personal uh, personal care for taking bath approximately 25 minutes in a day personal care for prayers is 95 minutes approximately two hours in a day so we can see as a muslim student uh, uh, will like um, we spend more time for their prayers for in a day so personal care for grooming is 70 minutes in a day so this one is activities that suggested by the access over so that student can do in order to uh, to uh, maximize their uh, their time taken uh, maximize their time in a day. So the object, so from the objective function, it shows that it will maximize that into one hundred and one hundred one thousand three hundred fifty two hours in one hundred one thousand sorry one thousand three hundred fifty two minutes in a day, which is approximately twenty two point five hours. So this one uh, shows that the remain. In a day, we have 24 hours, so the remaining 1.5 hours, we can uh, simply say that the student must uh, the student must spend the time for walking or doing other activities that we are not going to evaluate in this in our research. Okay, last but not least, uh, our conclusion. A mathematical modeling approach has been used and the simplex method is used to complete a model that is produced a result with the help of SS over. We also use integer programming method to help us to solve this problem. The result obtained in this study that to maximize the uh, quality of lifestyle habit by solving the problem faced by students in which they are allocated for a short time, the use of this SS over is able to see whether the student is able to produce quality of their lifestyle or otherwise. We can suggest to students what activity can be done in a day because of the time allocated per student is not too long. Show that within 24 hours, students can leverage their daily activities by engaging in activity that provide a good quality 
lifestyle. So this one is our references. So that's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you.